What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Once again, Nev from Nev's Tax Bits. Found in the wild for 50 cents. I love these knockoff Tamagotchi. One thing I really loved about this is that this is a knockoff of the Tamagotchi Connect. Unfortunately, I can't get this darn thing to work. So, I think it's time to take it apart. I tried different batteries. I tried to, all kinds of fun stuff. I tried throwing it really hard in the air and then catching it in my mouth. It didn't work. It hit me in the forehead, but it was still extra fun. Remove the insulation chip and the image of a small pet will be displayed on the LCD. Jesus, this isn't even English. I feel like I've been ripped off or something. Choose a pet. Damn, Damn it, I can read all this. I'm disappointed. Son, I am disappointed. Anyways, doesn't work. Tried all kinds of things. Different batteries, stuff like that. Lots of fun stuff. So, let's fill, pull out a Philly and see what's on the inside. Oh my god. 90s kids will remember when these were the big thing. Everyone was after them. And geez, even I was kind of interested in them just because there was a new piece of gaming technology. I remember hearing about these Pokemons and these Tamagotchis coming from across the pond that I was reading in EGM and Game Pro. I was reading those so much because all of a sudden my life took a, a big change, as many people's lives did. As soon as the Nintendo 64 came out, everyone started getting super interested in games because Nintendo 64 just brought a new 3D analog feel to it that you never got anywhere else. There's something about the Nintendo 64 that I'd argue even today, you just don't get the same analog, earthish feel. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm describing it totally off, but I think, I think people who were alive then, who remembered games before and after, will remember what that's like. Anyways, in these magazines, you see all kinds of things about Tamagotchi, and Pokemon. And, oh, I was so pumped up when Pokemon came. I was super stoked when Pokemon came over. And Pokemon Blue and Red came out. Me and my buddies got it. We're like, yeah, this game's great. And the cartoon came out, and it was okay. And we got to the third episode where, who was it, who was it, like Charmander, Pikachu, and, and one of the others just spent all day solving problems and saying their names over and over and over again. It's like, yep, I am not the target audience for this anymore. I think by that point I was in grade 11, so well, the game was still good, right? Same thing with Dragon Ball. We didn't really get it over here until it was way too late. Man, look how super simple that is. I get a kick out of that. I don't even see a chip on here. There's got to be a chip on there. There it is. I'm gonna have to mangle this thing. Wow. I love those pickups, look at that. It's just one freaking chip. And I guess that's why this thing won't turn on. I can't just be flux, can it? It's gotta be flux. That's gotta be yucky flux. Anyways, that's it for me, folks. I hope you're having a good Labor Day. This is one less piece of junk I have to have around my house now. <laughs> have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.